In this video, I'll help you to better understand traits in Throne and Liberty. How to unlock them, how to upgrade them, and how to utilize the blessing system. Each piece of gear you acquire from uncommon quality and above comes with an existing trait unlocked at random and additional trait slots available. Uncommon quality items have two slots, rare and above have three, in addition to the number of trait slots. The rarity of an item also dictates the number of times a trait be upgraded on that item. Common items can be upgraded to level 2, rare to level 3, and epic to level 4. To unlock additional traits on a given item, you need a second identical copy of that item with the desired trait. If there is a locked trait slot on an item, this will allow you to add the new trait at level 1. If the item already has existing traits, you can also use a duplicate item to change the existing trait to the desired new trait. This is the same for common and rare items. Epic items also follow this system, however, have an additional way of unlocking traits. This is through the use of trait unlock stones. I won't go into detail on how to acquire these in-game. However, I did want to mention this for players new to Throne and Liberty. Leveling traits on items is relatively straightforward. Let's look at two ways to do this. The 100% route. For this, you'll need an item of the same type e.g. weapon, chest, boots, and the same rarity e.g. common, rare, or epic. The item doesn't need to be a duplicate of the item you're trading. However, the trait does already need to be unlocked on the item you wish to upgrade. Providing this criteria is met, you have a 100% chance to upgrade that trait until the maximum level for that item. The second way of upgrading traits utilizes lower quality items. So let's take a look at that now. The 10% route. You can also utilize items from the rarity below to upgrade traits. For rare, this is uncommon. Epic Tier 1 is rare and Epic Tier 2. You guessed it is Epic Tier 1. Using a lower quality item follows all of the same criteria as the 100% method. However, doing so will only have a 10% chance of success. For each failed attempt, you gain a set number of blessing stacks. Failing to trade a rare item will give you 8 blessing points, 40 for a Tier 1 Epic, and when Tier 2 Epics are available, you gain 80 points. There is an option when using a lower quality item to consume blessing points. Consuming these stacks will increase the chance of upgrading that trait. The number of blessing points needed per percentage increase will depend on the quality of the item you're trying to upgrade. For rare items, you need one blessing to gain 1%. For Epic Tier 1, you need 5, and Epic Tier 2, you need 10. With enough blessing points, you can ensure a 100% upgrade chance, even when using a lower quality item. Let's look a little more at blessing points in detail. Blessing points are tied to each specific item, and you can have a total of 999999 blessing points for each item regardless of quality. When you transfer an item into another, the number of blessing points you've accumulated will also transfer. Important not only do blessing points transfer to the new item, you also gain additional points based on the number of unlock trade unlocks on the item you're transferring from. It's because of this that when you're upgrading your gear, it can be beneficial to ensure the item is fully traded. This can be a great use of traits that you've acquired but are not useful for your build. As you play Throne and Liberty and progress your gear, you'll notice that traits become harder to find and are considerably more expensive from the auction house. Through effective use of the blessing system, you can significantly cut down on the time and cost required to max trait your items. I hope you found this guide helpful. Please subscribe and leave a comment with what you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching.